Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. We are out and about in downtown Tulsa. You can see the city behind me. It's so pretty. We are at Winterfest and they have a big ice skating rink and like hot chocolate and fun stuff like that. So we're experiencing a winter in Oklahoma. Ooh. Yeah, what, what's this? Are you all done? We just got here. None of us have ever been here before and I think we all kind of expected a lot of stuff to do. So far, all I've seen is an ice rink. They have a area back there, I guess they have Santa's reindeer, but not yeah. much else. You're the only one of us that has ice skates, but. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know how many people actually have their own ice skates I don't here. I don't know, it doesn't look like a lot. Yeah, it looks like you can rent them over there, but they're not gonna have my yeah. size anyway, so no. I'm glad I have my own ice skates. I got Corey these ice skates one year for Christmas when we were living in Alaska, and I had to look for them online forever, and I finally found some his size. So he's used them a handful of times. He's getting better. Look at him, there he goes. He's already off. Not quite as fast as everybody else, but faster than some. I personally am not a big fan of ice skating. I think I've talked about it in a vlog before, but when I was in elementary school, my best friend had an ice skating birthday party, and I fell and like, pulled a muscle or hurt myself really bad. And then some of her other friends came up and said that I ruined her birthday because she was my best friend. And so she sat with me instead of skating with everybody else for like the rest of her party. And we had a great time, but everyone else was all upset she wasn't out there skating. So Nicole, I'm sorry if I ruined your birthday party. That experience kind of scarred me from ice skating. You've made it around like twice already. You're doing good. Yeah, it's, uh, I gotta warm up to it a little bit. <laughs> there's like a bottleneck of people trying to get in because everyone wants the wall. Nobody wants to just get out and skate. All right, there goes some people. Oh, they got this, they got it. I'm getting the hang of it, dude. I'm actually going pretty quick. Get some speed going. I am cooking. I'm sweating. I had to take off my uh, my other sweater just cause like, this is a bit of a workout. Yeah. Oh, that little girl just fell. You okay? Yeah, she's okay. Yeah, earlier today we, uh, we were lazy, man. We got a late, late start on the day. So to finally get out and do something that, you know, requires a bit of exercise is so good because <laughs> we haven't been back to the gym yet. So this is good. I need to burn some calories. By the way, I'm so not used to skating with this many people. It's crazy. Well, it's a mini blockade. Get some speed. Whoa. This is fast for me. This is very fast for me. But I can't help it. It's too fun and I can't slow down. Okay, everybody has to get off the ice. They have to clean it. Here comes the Zamboni. This is so good stopping right now, just so I can like cool down. So now we're eating at a restaurant called Yokozuna, or as Chell would call it, belly button. To be fair, it does kind of look like a belly button right there, you know? Hi, how are you doing? Oh yeah, that hit the spot. So let me show you something very interesting about Tulsa. I don't know if I've shown you before, but see this green tower? This tower is made like that because that was for uh, Zeppelins to land. They were thinking that was the future, so they built that building like that so it would dock there. Crazy, right? And this building, does this building look familiar to you guys? Believe it or not, that is a sister to the World Trade Center, like the original Twin Towers that were in New York. It's built pretty much the same, and when you walk into that building, it's like walking into the past and it's kind of creepy. At one point, Tulsa was the oil capital of the world and they were expecting to have lots and lots of money here. And there's a lot of very interesting structures because of that. In fact, there's even an underground system so people can walk back and forth between all these buildings. I don't know if that was because of money transfer or, or what it was, I wanna look into it. But yeah, there's like all these crazy underground walkways. There's a lot of history about this city that I just don't know. I should learn. 